In this video, we're going to replace a turbo in a 94 and a half to 97 F250, 350, whatever, with a 7.3. What size bolts are those that you just took out? 10. Yeah. Pretty self explanatory up until this point. You want to take the downpipe off. That's an 11 millimeter. And a little trick with this clamp. You don't need to take the nut all the way off because you'll probably lose it. Get it most of the way off and then spin that thing around there. You can just pop it off out the back. Like so. All right, so then you're going to want to remove the Y pipe here. Which we've already got it loosened up. Just a simple screwdriver or 5 16ths or 8 millimeter, whatever you prefer. And while you're at it, make sure that O-ring falls down in the intake so it makes your engine run better. <laughs> right, next, you're going to want to take off these bolts and nuts here. Those two are 14. Then you're going to want to take the bottom bolts off of the flange. That one you can see. The other one's in there. You kind of just have to go by feel. There it is helps to have small hands you're gonna want one of these 15 millimeter swivel socket because that's about the only thing you're gonna get on there helps you put it on the right way and don't drop it <laughs> If you're smart, you'll spray this with PB Blaster for several days before you start. <laughs> and this last one here, like I said, you can't really see it, but you can feel it. And you'll kind of feel it slip on there. And grab your extension, wherever it went. Okay, maybe I should have put the extension on first. Oh, I got it. There we go. <clears throat> oh. Something just happened. Oh, I think I broke my ratchet. <laughs> oh, no, there she goes. And there you go. Next, you're going to, you're going to want to take out the pedestal bolts. And those are 13 on this. There's two here, one there, and then get down in there. You can see it kind of in the back there, right there. That's the uh, back pressure valve rod there. This truck, somebody's already halfway deleted it, as you can see. Apparently decided that finishing the job the right way wasn't important enough. So the two front pedestal bolts that we just pulled out clearly are not factory ones, so yours probably won't be 13 millimeter. I think they're 10 out of the factory. But yeah, that's definitely not a factory bolt. All right, so the back pedestal bolts on this one apparently are factory, and those are 10 millimeter. You should also try not to do that. Yeah, and grab me a mag. Oh, wait, wait, got it. A ratcheting wrench, at least mine, are too big to fit in there. They're too big around, so. One thing that'll help with this one, if you can get some wobble extensions. 
it helps out greatly. Hold that for me for a sec. And you just kind of fish it down through there. A little bitty extension like that would be pretty helpful too, just to get it up high enough. And then you can kind of get it on there. And yeah, there's the ratchet. And the other bolt for the turbo pedestal is right back there. The swivel extension helps greatly again. It's also 10 millimeter. You want to swivel for this one instead of the swivel extension, wobble extension. Just found that out the hard way. There we go. Help out. Still can't get that other one out. There we go. Come on. What did it do? Shut the flash off? Oh, there we go. That's coming. There. Get a little better position here. for the back pressure valve. Yeah, lost it came off with the, yeah, there it is. Make sure the gasket comes off of that. And in this case, it stuck onto here. You don't want to double gasket that. I did notice that due to some operator error on my part, running the camera, to get the turbo, well, the video didn't show up. So, to get the turbo separated from the pedestal, there's four bolts on the bottom. Right there. Popped them four out. They are 10 millimeter. And there's two different lengths. So remember which way they came out. The Longer ones go towards the little dropped part of the pedestal, right here. That's where the longer ones go. Always replace your O-rings. They're like condoms. You don't reuse them. And you just take that and yeah, flip the pedestal over on top of that. Need some hair around it? Or do you need to make it stink? <laughs> then grab your half inch impact and run them down. All right, the actual torque spec for these is 18 foot pounds. And do it in a cross pattern. If you don't know that, you probably shouldn't be doing this job. Okay. 
Is this torque wrench working right? <laughs> so you're gonna want to clean the uh, collector housing off there. Get as much goop off of there as you can. It's a good idea to cover your turbo uh, pedestal stuff there. Be replacing the O-rings there as well. Go ahead and slap that on there. Then grab your turbo and get it dropped in there. All right, um, you're gonna wanna put these two turbo pedestal bolts on before you try to put it down there, as we just learned the hard way. So we'll try this again. Easier the first time. And of course, that one's giving me issues back there. Now we can start back in. Maybe. There. And then hope that your O rings stayed in place. Find out as soon as you start it. So, now start getting everything loosely threaded back on. All right, then once you get everything going here, <clears throat> just get everything snug together so everything can still move before you put the final torque on everything. And then you're gonna want to torque down the flange bolts and nuts. Those are 36 foot pounds. Make sure you round it off. Helps with disassembly later. As I'm sitting here editing this video, I feel it's pretty important to tell you guys to double check that torque spec. I don't know if the torque spec that we looked up was wrong or if my torque wrench is just a piece of crap. Neither would surprise me, but make sure you double check that. None of the four on this one here got torqued down to the 36 foot pounds. We ended up stripping one of the bolts out. Thankfully, we were able to fix it by just removing the bolt and drilling it out a little bit to get a longer bolt through there with a nut on the back side of it. So make sure you double check that. I don't want to see anybody else screwing their stuff up and having problems like we did. See that it's getting looser. I don't make any guarantees on the 36 foot pounds for that because one of ours here just started getting looser. So pretty snug would also most likely be sufficient if you're having issues like we are here. snug. Good enough. Yeah, 
we'll just leave it at that. That's, I don't want to go any tighter. Yeah, I think uh, pretty dang snug is sufficient for that. And then we'll move on to the pedestal bolts. And these were 18. My confidence in this Harbor Freight torque wrench is uh, dwindling rapidly. And then these here are uh, 18 foot pounds again. Which seems like a bit much to me, but whatever. <laughs> Queef. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that explains why your stomach was making so much noise earlier. <laughs> Alright, that's done. And you want to get your downpipe. Back on. <laughs> Present eleven mil. And this one, you're just going to want to get, there's a torque spec for it, but I don't know what it is. Just use your head. Just, you know, pretty snug ought to do her. If it moves, it's too loose. If it doesn't move, you're good. That ain't, that ain't going anywhere. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then you're going to want to make sure you get this O-ring put in here. And then... Get the white pipe put back on. Get it? Um, where's your clamp? I don't know. Alright, now we just need to tighten that down. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Put your intake stuff back on and all that. If you can't figure that part out, you probably shouldn't have tried this job. Hopefully you all found this video helpful. This is the biggest job that I've done a how-to video on up to this point. So I've got several others that I'm working on, other projects that I've got going on that I'm going to make videos on too. And I'd like to know what you thought of this one, if there was too much detail, not enough detail, or even if it was just right, leave me a comment, let me know, and that way I can try to make my future videos more useful and helpful.